friends of UNH Women's Hockey present Coach's Corner with head coach Brian McCloskey. Hi, welcome to the friends of UNH Women's Hockey's Coach's Corner. I'm Phil Kincaid along with head coach Brian McCloskey, and it's time to take a look at the first half of the season. And while, Coach, maybe the wins and losses aren't exactly as strong as you had expected them to be but I, or hope they could be, but I think when you take a look at what you've been through this first half of the season, the short bats, a little kind of crazy schedule, a Four Nations Cup, yeah. throw in a couple of injuries here and there, I think you'd be pretty happy about how things turned out. Yeah, Phil, I mean, I think we've had a great first half, and uh, like you said, it's been challenging, a, a very challenging schedule, which we knew going into it, and... Uh, uh, you know, I just really like the way the team's responded. We've had our share of adversity uh, with some injuries, uh, a few player losses, uh, tournaments. But the team's responded. A lot of, uh, you know, familiar faces have stepped up, no surprise there, and then some new faces. So it's been, uh, it's been an entertaining first half. Um, I think what we've done, the team's done overall, is they've put themselves in a position to do something in the second half. You know, we, we've... Uh, we haven't put ourselves behind the eight ball. We're right there in our league, and uh, I think we're right there in the national scene too. So, uh, you know, we've got a lot of work to do, of course, in the second half, but uh, it, the break comes at a good time. Played a lot of games, and uh, I think the team uh, feels pretty good about itself, and they should. Yeah, you take a look at the hockey schedule, and, of course, there you are. You're in second place right now, but you're the only team that has only one regular a regulation loss, which is something, I mean, you got some – some of these crazy shootout losses but yeah. uh, overall I think it, it, when you take a look at we knew how more difficult hockey East was going to be this year right. you have to be pretty happy about how you played in the league I, I, I am and I and I don't think we've played our best hockey and not to suggest that we've played poorly uh, we've played some very good hockey but I, I think the team has all things being considered the team's been very resilient very uh, consistent uh, you know, and yet I still know there's a little more upside in us. And uh, and like you noted, it, it's a much better league, and that's been great from uh, you know from everyone's vantage. I mean, I think the uh, playoff race is going to go right down to the wire this year, which is great. You know, uh, the players we always depend on have been there this season. That's you know the Jen Wakefields, the Sam Fabers, uh, the Casey Bellamy's, but there's been also some other players that have really sort of stepped up. And I think one that stands out is uh, Courtney Burchard. You made some adjustments more recently that's put, it, put her in a little different role, and she's responded well. Yeah, Courtney, uh, I'm, I'm really glad you cited Courtney because uh, Courtney's a very versatile player, certainly one of our most skilled players. And, uh, you know, as a sophomore, this has been a breakout year for her. I have no, uh, no question about that. Her point totals, I think, uh, indicate that. But I also think she's played so much larger role. We asked her to, to help us on the back end with uh, – you know, just some abilities, some, her ability to move the puck and to get it out of trouble. And just the way she handled that, uh, that that's been a huge key, I think, to some of our uh, late late first half success. Um, so certainly Courtney's been, uh, been a, a nice, uh, a, I wouldn't call it a surprise, but it's been a nice, nice to watch her, uh, you know, kind of come on into her own, which we knew would happen this year. Then we, you know, we, you know, like the usual cast of characters. Certainly, Casey, uh, Jennifer, uh, Sam, uh, you know, and and maybe somebody who gets overlooked sometimes, uh, Maggie Joyce, uh, who's really solidified us on the back end. Another veteran player that we've come to rely on in so many key situations. Um, probably another player that's flown under the radar, but is well known is uh, Kelly Patton. I think Kelly's had a phenomenal. I mean, she's doing everything for us, from penalty killing to power play to, you know, she's just such a dynamic player. Uh, and I think she's had a, you know, like so many of our returning or veterans, she's had a great first half. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, we've had some new faces uh, contribute too. Uh, I mean, the other night we got to see Lindsay Minton for the first time. And uh, I think that's – she played outstanding. Uh, she obviously shows she can compete for the job. You know, and Kaylee Herman has played virtually every game. Uh, probably wasn't, in Kaylee's mind, her best half. But Kaylee's an outstanding national team caliber goalie. I, I look for her to, to regain form in the second half, and uh, that will be critical. And I think Lindsay's emergence or indication that she can at least contribute – uh, is really valuable for us. Um, another player that doesn't get a lot of uh, notoriety, uh, Angela Taylor. 
not only has she, you know, become a more significant contributor, but she's just blossomed this year as a senior for us. Uh, has played a, a big, big role offensively and defensively. She's probably one of our most dependable defensive players. Um, you know, some players have had quiet first halves, but they've been critic. They've scored big goals at the right time, uh, or done good things. Michaela Long has become so much more valuable uh, as a two-way player for us. She's doing a lot of, we've given her a lot more opportunity this year to kill penalties and do things. Um, you know, and then some of the uh, the newer faces, I think, uh, have done a great job. I mean, we've got some new old faces. You know, uh, I think Courtney Sheary, Kelly Cahill, for example, two kids who sort of missed a year of hockey, at least, Kelly's case, more than a year, have... Uh, have been significant contributors. It's kind of been that whole fit, you know. Uh, and Raylan Jingaluski, who we lost to illness at the end of last season, came on as well. I really thought Raylan made some of her biggest steps in the last month. Um, so, I, I mean, I guess the, the good news is we got a lot to look forward to in the second half, and uh, we'll be jumping. You know, we got a nice break here, but then we jump into some heavy league play. We still have Dartmouth, and we... We'll have to make up that Harvard game that we lost to the Ice Storm. So we've got an extremely competitive remaining schedule, and so the remaining, whatever, 16 games or so, are going to be real challenging, big games, and uh, I think the team's excited about, you know, the stretch run. Great, Coach. Well, we want to wish everyone a very happy holiday season. We'll be off for a couple weeks. We'll be back. Uh, your next game is, I believe, on the 10th? 10th versus uh, the Friars, our big rival out of Providence, and... Uh, yeah, I wish everybody and their families a uh, happy holidays. We look forward to seeing everybody uh, in the new year and uh, have a safe and happy holiday. Great. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks, Phil.